Hey guys, we are here on the day of surgery with Gary. How are you, Gary? Oh, I'm great. And I'm looking forward to being better. Yes, right, looking forward to being better. So Gary, how old are you? I am 76. 76, okay. And uh, Gary's got rhinophyma, which is a kind of further evolution of a condition called rosacea. Right. How long have you noticed the skin on your nose been bubbling up for? Oh, it's, it's been a few years. Uh, Would you say one or two years, five yeah, or 10 years? No, so I'd say five or 10 years. Five or 10 years, yes. okay. Right. Uh, you, you're probably on medications right. for, for rosacea. Have you had any treatments done to the surface of your nose? No. Okay, and why not? Well, um, that's the, I, the number one question I get is why haven't they had it treated? So I want to hear. Well, I, I really haven't given it that much thought early on, mm -hmm. and then uh, I wanted someone who was good at what they do. Uh, when, you know, when you start talking. I'll about go get them. <laughs> and uh, we think you are. Okay. Yeah. That's why we're here. So where'd you come in from? They come in from uh, Batesville, Arkansas, which is just north of Little Rock. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad to try. So what we're going to do for Gary today is we're going to get him in the operating room. This is this can be done comfortably awake, so we don't need to go all the way under general. And like many people, myself included, and Gary at his age group, there's other medical conditions to think about. The less medications and things we expose you to, right. the better. Right. And so um, uh, we're going to get him um, happy and comfortable and a little bit of laughing gas. And then lidocaine, pure, plain old Novocaine is a miracle drug. We're going to use that to make this whole area numb. Once that's numb, we'll be kind of talking you through mm -hmm. it. I'm going to use a uh, electric pottery type of device to kind of chop down the bulk of the tree. Mm -hmm. And then we'll use a laser device to sand the fine edges. Um, I expect 80%, 80 plus percent better. Mm -hmm. um, that's great. And then it'll take about a month for it to kind of heal for, mm -hmm. that, uh, for that area to heal. Weird question. Do people ever kind of give you a second look in public, or have you noticed anything, or they have you noticed any uh, you know, behaviors? I, early on, I didn't think much about it, but I do more so now, particularly with uh, children. Yeah, because they don't understand. No, they, yeah. have, they have no understanding of it. Yeah. Why is his nose bigger than my nose or my dad's nose? Or right. Why is it shaped like it is? Uh, kids, kids think about that. Right. And I have grandchildren. Yeah. Well, good. So, uh, thank you guys. I'm going to thank Gary on your behalf for letting you, letting us follow along yes, with you. I'm good to go. All right. You're amazing. Looking you clearly are. You clear, he clearly is in broadcasting. <laughs> He's got it all under control. All right.